Hey guys, it's Miss Frida Will, and I wanted to take a really quick minute to show you some stuff with art of the day because it's something that may be new to you and you may need a little more instruction than what the written directions have. So I'm on my canvas dashboard and I'm going to click on art one. Both art one and art two do art of the days. From here, this is our home page. I'm going to click on the art of the day and that's going to carry me to the module that contains all of our art of the day assignments for each week. So within every module, there is a link that explains what's going on throughout the module and shows you all the information that you need about it. So in that link, here's an example of an art of the day that I made just to use to show you guys kind of what I expect from you. So there is a sketch of the artwork, my name and the date that it was completed, if I had completed it on a specific date. <laughs> Um, the artist's name, the title of the artwork, the date it was completed, the movement, the medium, whatever information that you find that helps you identify the artwork. I want as much as you can find about that. And then at least 10 facts that are related to the artwork. That can be facts about the artist. That can be facts about other artists related to the time period. That can be related to the time period. Historical things that were happening at the time. Um, things that you learn about the artist. It can be specific things about the individual artwork. What you include in that 10 facts is up to you, but I do want you to tell me where you got them from. So cite your source. Within each art of the day, there is a link to a wakelet that has links to websites for each of the sources as well. And then how they're graded is here. So this counts as a 10 point assignment for each week. So if I go back, all of the individual weeks are labeled. So on Monday, the 21st, we would start doing the Lasco cave paintings. You can do that all at one time. You can do it bits and pieces throughout the week. What's important to me is that you make sure to have it turned in by, I believe it's 3 p.m. on the last day of the week, the Friday. So this one has a rubric here. Um, and it says available to, I'm looking for the due date. Here we go, the 25th at 3 p.m. So again, here's that link to the Wakelet that has more resources. Each and every single artwork has this page. This one is the Lasco Cave Paintings, Focus on the Hall of Bulls. If you choose to do these hand-drawn, you would just take a photograph of the artwork and attach it to a Google Doc and upload it into your assignments or if you are more comfortable, you can share it with me through Google or send it through email. How you go about doing that, I can be flexible with, but I do want you to remember that they start on Monday for each week and they're due by 3 p.m. on Friday. Please, please, please let me know if you still have questions. I feel like that explains it, but just in case, I'm available if you need me.